Because we're celebrating 20 years of spinning records, we've asked our DJs about their experiences with spinning records. In this episode, we'll have a chat with Timmy Trumpet and talk about his favorite artists, ongoing highlights, but most important of all, great music. I mean, I guess it just happened like everything in life. You, you, it just happened, you know? If music is music, there's good music and there's bad music and I, I just do what I think is good and I keep changing it up. I don't have a particular genre that I'm attached to. Jazz was obviously, a, you know, a, a prolific thing for me. I was touring the world playing jazz music when I was 13, 14 years old. So it was, I was very lucky, you know. I started off with my dad. He, uh, he gave me the trumpet. He was a trumpet player and so was his dad. Uh, I wanted to play saxophone, we, we just couldn't afford one. So I'm, I'm thankful now because Timmy's saxophone is kind of silly. This ain't no hipster sh- Oh, it's so much more fun now. You know, I'm around people my age instead of playing to my grandma. Um, but it's, it, it's it, it, the whole industry right now is so much fun. I've got so many different friends, uh, so many great DJs, meeting people I idolize, like Armin or Tiesto, uh, and they're just down to earth, great guys, you know, just real, you know? So it's, it, it's always cool. And, and it's getting to a, a part now at this stage where I get to collaborate with my idols, which is even better. Learning from them and sharing ideas. I, I get most of my energy from the crowd, you know? It's all about connecting with the crowd, that, that feeling that you get from them, and it, it, it's the highest feeling in the world, making them happy and maybe for a brief moment, touching someone. Marty, do we die? And that's what Timmy Trumpet does, makes his crowds happy. With his ever energetic and surprising performances, He's shown that he's more than a musical genius, but that he's also a real entertainer. I mean, it, a set is, like I said, a journey, so you, there's good vibes, shocking moments, things you're not gonna expect. I'm always trying to deliver a show that violates your expectations of what a usual show would be, and try to do something that, that's different. And I think I'm trying to do the same uh, in, in the studio, you know, trying to create something that's never been done before. I think that's what I'm most attracted to is hearing a sound I've never heard before and I think you know that's what producing is now trying to create new genres trying to create new sounds. Man I, I love the challenge of trying a new genre at the moment I'm really loving hard style um, you know it originated here in, 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 uh, in Europe in Holland and I'm Australian so I'm just touching I'm learning about it you know and it, it's it, I love the aggression in, in a hard style, I love it, it makes you move. I'm always gonna try to do what I love and at the moment that's definitely strung a chord with me and I can see hard style definitely growing a, a lot over the next, over the upcoming years. I've obviously heard a lot about you guys. Um, one of my, I'm a massive fan of a, a, a guy by the name of Yawn here. He's kind of like my spirit animal. He's, he's a true artist. He's, he, he, him and I work on everything together. I'll send him ideas and he'll send me just the most negative feedback and that's what I want. I want that criticism and he's always honest with me. You know, you always just kind of open it up, we've done one track at a time, but like always changing genres and they've, they've always given me that support of trying a new genre and trying to shake it up a bit and that's, that's what I love about spinning is they're not afraid to take a chance on something new. Timmy Trumpet's track, Oracle, was his big breakthrough for the larger audiences. It's one of his signature tracks because it keeps surprising you. And thanks to its lively chords and ecstatic drop, it is a huge hit. Did this record called Freaks. I don't know if it was with spinning though, but it was a big record for us. And that kind of, I, I feel like every record's another stepping stone to the next. Um, but that, especially for spinning, opened me up to Europe and, and the rest of the world. You know, spinning have that that connection to the world. I do, yeah, I play Oracle every set. Party Till We Die every single set, man, yeah. I started the, uh, the record myself just doing, I want to do a rock track and, um, you know, we recorded uh, guitar, that's real guitar that we recorded there. And I started something that was just a traditional rock song 
And then um, I met the Sub-Zero boys. I mean, they just got such a unique hard style sound at the moment. And if you sample the sound of a, a, a corkscrew popping, that's, they've just used that you know, on, on the kick. And man, they're so talented. And they're so young and they're Dutch. You need to check them out, Sub-Zero Project. It's the greatest feeling to play something that really shocks people. And I'm looking forward to what's gonna be next. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to, to uh, trying something new. Thank you, Spinning. Thank you for taking a chance on new, new music, new genres. Thank you for being open to new sounds. And thank you for giving young artists a platform. Um, you know, I, I, I'm very thankful. Peace, love, and rock and fucking roll. <laughs>